I understand that some of you are having difficulty on when to decide when to use positive or negative factors. So here are four different examples. The first example is x squared plus 7x plus 6. Since both of our b and c values are positive, both of our factors will be positive. In this case, we have 6 and 1 because we know 6 times 1 will give you 6 and 6 plus 1 will give you 7. Once again, both of these will be positive since both b and c are positive. Our second expression is now x squared minus 7x plus 6. Again, we can use our factors of 6 and 1, but what's positive and what's negative? Since the b value is negative and our c value is positive, we know that when you add two negatives together, it will still be negative, and when you multiply two negatives together, it will be positive. So in this case, both of our factors are negative. Let's move on to our next one. x squared minus 5x minus 6. We can use the exact same factors of 6 and 1, but now our signs change. Since b is a negative and c is a positive, both our terms, since b is a negative, we know that one term needs to be positive and one term needs to be negative. However, since our b is negative, the bigger number will be negative and the smaller number will be positive. Now let's change it a little bit. Let's say our b value is positive. Again, we could use the factors of six and one, and we know that one is positive and one is negative since our c value is negative. But in this case, since our b is positive, the bigger number will be positive and the smaller factor will be negative. I hope this clarifies when to use positive and negative factors.